Hi, I'm Miss Shelley, and welcome to my science show. In our lesson on sound, we learned that volume is how loud or soft a sound is, and pitch is how high or low a sound is. Today, we're going to explore volume and pitch by making our very own rubber band guitars. Miss Shelley's Science Show. For this experiment, you're going to need some sort of bread tin or baking pan, some pencils, and some rubber bands. Ronnie's rule for this experiment is to always work slowly and carefully when using rubber bands. If you move too fast, rubber bands can snap and it doesn't feel very good. You're going to start off with your tin and your rubber bands. I have about five rubber bands here and they're different sizes. They're different thicknesses and they're different lengths. So for example, this one's a little bit longer. This one's not as long. This one's a little bit thinner. This one's a little bit thicker. You can have a lot of different rubber bands. It's just going to make it all the more fun when you make your rubber band guitar. I'm going to take my rubber bands and I'm going to stretch them across my bread tin. Now you could do it long ways or you could do it short ways, whatever you're most comfortable with. I'm going to do it short ways just because I don't want them to snap on me. So you're going to want to place your rubber bands so they're all parallel to each other and they're all in a row. So this rubber band isn't touching the orange one, the orange one's not touching the red one, and so forth. Once you have all your rubber bands placed, you can pluck them like the strings of a guitar and you're going to hear a sound. <laughs> And you'll hear different sounds based on how thin or thick the rubber band is, as well as how tight or loose they are. So for example, this blue rubber band is smaller, so it's a little bit tighter and it's thinner, so it's going to have a higher pitch. Right. Whereas the black rubber band is looser and it's thicker, so it's going to vibrate slower and have a lower pitch. Then you can also play with volume by plucking the strings harder or softer. If you pluck them harder, you're going to have a louder sound. If you pluck them softer, you're going to have a quieter sound. And then if you want to take your pencils, you can play with tightening different strings to make them have a higher pitch. So for example, if I take a pencil and I slide it under some of these strings and I pull, then they're going to get higher. So let's listen, the red one sounds like this. But if I tighten it, the white one sounds like this. But if I tighten it, it gets a little bit higher. So go ahead and experiment with pitch and volume on your own rubber band guitar, and I'll see you next time on another episode of Miss Shelley's Science Show.